Hi folks, welcome back. As promised I was going to do a video on this uh, homemade horizontal sharpening machine. Um, so I'll run through the uh, the items that it's made from and then uh, take things from there. As you can see it's a horizontal plane with a diamond um, sharpening disc on there which you, which you can change for you know several different types as you can see the here the the actual turntable aluminium which is um, 14 millimeter thick it has four neodymium magnets in the top there I'm zoom in slightly be able to see them there's one two three four um, they what they do they hold down the actual disc so when you put the disc onto the central locating pin there the, it slide across and, and the magnets grab hold of it so as it so as it can't so as it can't turn. Um, what it's made from, believe it or not, is um, the body. The main body is made from an old uh, water fire extinguisher, and I've got a, an upcut of aluminium plate here, ten millimeter thick, which is which itself is fastened to. If you look inside, I'll unplug those wires. If you look inside you see a plywood disc which is held on with these side screws here and then the, the aluminium disc is screwed to the plywood disc and to drive it I have a Parvalux 24 volt motor which I power using my um, desktop power supply and uh, I've got another example here they're very very high quality uh, geared motors made by Parvalux in the UK and you can pick these up on eBay quite reasonably um, if you look, if you keep looking and you'll find them, they come in all different gear ratios so um, we'll plug the power back in which is directly from my desktop power supply and you can see just how controllable they are, this one is a 200, 200 RPM basically running on 24 volts so if I turn up the power, I turn it up to 5 volts, you'll see that the, the wheel's turning very slowly there. I'll zoom in a little. You can see how controllable they are. So if you wanted to do some really fine um, grinding, you could. So that's about the slowest it'll go. So if I turn it up to its maximum 24 volts, you'll hear the pitch and you'll see the speed increase. That's 24 volts there. It's quite because it's a DC motor, it's got quite a lot of power. It's hard to slow it down. Whereas if it was an AC motor, you'd be able to slow it down easily. Yeah, that would take your skin off before you could stop that. And uh, I use it for all sorts of different things. I have a little shelf here which I rest my arm on for different heights. And I've got here a, a woodwork chisel. So basically, you can lock out and do your grinding. And that's to get the, the back of the chisel perfectly flat before you come to do your, your final edge. So if I turn the speed down to say 10 volts, that would be the speed that you go out, put some water on or, or lubricant, then you can do your, your fine angle for the cutting edge on the slow speed so you don't overheat the cutting edge. Like that. What I use these for, these old Stanley um, chisels are not much good for a wood chisel. I use them for scrapers and uh, they make excellent scrapers because they've got a nice flat and powerful square edge. Um, so that's the machine, quite simple. You'll see it uh, with the red lights on. It's connected by two banana connectors there. and. Uh, relatively cheap to make. The dearest part was the motor. I've got the fire extinguisher for free. I've got this um, aluminium offcut free from an old um, I think what it was. It was a, a base for a microscope I think. Well that's, that's correct. It's actually the, the base off that old off my old um, Zeiss microscope. There my stereo microscope. That's where that plate came from. So it's all recycled materials. Um, I stop it there. That, the, the, 
the uh, platform was new and the magnets are new and the discs are new apart from everything else is recycled and uh, with a, a, a knee on there just to let you know it's going and uh, that's that's my homemade horizontal sharpening machine um, I've got lots and lots of different grits of discs right up to 4000 um, and some cast iron ones the cast iron ones are actually the best ones for giving you the final edge believe it or not you would think a, a fine grit stone would be best but it's not actually uh, cast iron is you know spun cast, cast iron gives you a much superior cutting edge and you can pick these up off, e off ebay quite cheap these they're uh, and they're coming multiple to different grits so that's my uh, homemade horizontal sharpening machine which works very well and is highly controllable give you one last look at the speed it can go down to that's down to 5 volts DC there and you can see it's barely turning very very slowly so if you want to do some ultra fine um, sharpening on say watch parts or clock parts it's ideal for that so we'll turn that off and uh, show you the motor again Parbolux Parbolux geared motors they're really excellent high quality well well made solid solid items and uh, highly recommended I've actually used these for, for several different machines which I'll show you over the coming weeks so that's my uh, horizontal sharpening machine big savings on buying off retail I think the whole thing come to less than about £40 for making that whereas if you buy um, the recognised engraving horizontal machines you're up into the several hundreds of pounds that's one of the main reasons why I do it to make savings and obtain a high quality machine thank you very much for watching